Throughout history, there have been many stories of miraculous healings. Figures like Jesus, Buddha, saints of all denominations have been known for their healing miracles. Usually their work was done through a gentle touch or the laying of hands. Even now in modern medicine, there's a practice called the therapeutic touch, which mirrors this modality of healing hands. Can there be any substance in these practices? What's really going on here? In 20th century Japan, a new way of hands-on healing was discovered, or maybe remembered is the better term. They call it Reiki. Reiki loosely translates as spiritually guided life force energy. This energy is used to promote relaxation, restoration, and propel one towards enlightenment. How are these age-old healing practices really working? I believe that this life force energy has been recycled and renamed throughout history. Yogis call it prana, Christians may say it's the Holy Spirit, the Chinese call it chi, and in Japan we call it reiki. By restoring the life force energy in your own body, you can promote restoration and healing, plain and simple. Through the power of intention and by the holding of space, Reiki is transmitted from a Reiki master into a client. As a pharmacist and Reiki master, I strive to merge the polarities of medicine. I want to find a deeper understanding of a holistic view of well-being. You could say I ride the spectrum of healing. In short, Reiki utilizes the power we all have to heal ourselves. At Awaken, we understand that taking care of your energy is vital to your self-care. Our Reiki branch is well equipped to help you on your healing journey in whatever way you may need. And the space of relaxation that we offer helps your body heal at a cellular level. We shift your energy usage from fight or flight to rest and digest, where you can just really find healing.